the moment the minority threatens to become a big one, people get frightened. My name is Khan, I am not a terrorist. I think Britain right now is a very uncomfortable place to be in, especially if you're Muslim or Pakistani. Immigration is just another red herring. Replacing indigenous British people, white British people in London, is basically genocidal. I think people should be able to live however they want to live. Anyone should go wherever they want to go. This is a human trait, you know, whenever you feel like your future is unsafe, um, you tend to want to find somebody to blame for it. After decades of mass influx of people and building a multicultural society, today immigration has become an uncomfortable talk and a national dilemma in Britain. One in ten of us is of immigrant origin. For many, the country is becoming overcrowded and the political attention has been shifting towards creating a fortress against immigration. Opinion polls show that we are too many to compete for employment and public services, such as places in schools and housing. Failure of this country to have proper border controls over a number of decades. At a time like this when our labour market is tight, we more than ever need a firm cap on the number of people who are allowed to come and live and work in the UK. The economic downturn has brought about a massive change in people's outlook towards immigrants and immigration in Britain. The leading political parties have proposed harsher immigration policies as a solution to this problem. But is this really the way out or just a case of seeking scapegoats in times of adversity? There is uh, some sort of uh, pressure, if you like, on all political parties uh, to, to do something uh, or to say something on, on immigration uh, so it becomes an issue. This is a fashionable thing for some politicians to say, oh, multiculturalism is creating a problem. There's a general tendency across parties to um, revert to the traditional political trick of um, scapegoating. Um, and when you're facing a recession, the easiest way to get attention to yourself whilst um, kind of diverting attention from your inability to do things is to just, you know, identify a scapegoat on which you're going, which you're going to, you know, load with, with all the guilt. The situation that is now being created is labor's creation. The 2.6 million, 2.46 million are unemployed. White working class feel of these these immigrants are taking jobs, Polish, Albanians, French, or whoever it is. They they do feel that way. It's because the open door policy we have. Extremist groups are exploiting the current situation for electoral gain. And a lot of white British people feel very uncomfortable. You know, walking down the street, they don't hear. You know, somebody. You know, a person speak in English, you know, they, they pass by a mosque, you know, there's whole streets cater for, you know, the various ethnic groups and, uh, you know, you, you begin to feel like a foreigner in your own country. South Hall is one of UK's most Asian populated regions. We are here to find out what are people's thoughts on immigration and their expectations from the coming general elections. Come their election time and stuff, they will sort of come out and be bold and say, oh, we're, we're different and everything, but in, in all honesty, I think they're very similar. What is British? People who are born in England, people who come to England, this is really not the issue at all. You know, there's a free, free flow of migrant workers all over the globe. Lives, especially the immigrant population, which first generation immigrants, and I think came over in what, the early 60s, late 50s, they've contributed um, an enormous amount to the economy. Birmingham has a long history of hosting immigrant populations. The proportion of non-white population here is the highest after London. Thirty years after the race riots in Handsworth, Birmingham, the Asian, black and white population live harmoniously side by side. From uh, other countries, you know, there is a Muslim population, for example, they feel safe and they feel uh, they want to come to certain areas of Birmingham. You know, there are quite a lot of gangs and stuff like that around uh, the city centre and things like that, but as long as people just keep themselves to themselves, um, you know, it's, it's generally fine. When you're here, you, you fit in, you, you, 
you know, you, you're not like, nobody's looking at you and everybody keeps to themselves and whatnot. And it is, it is a nice place to live. All ethnic groups have been affected by Birmingham's economic decline. The closure of factories and plants has been especially detrimental for white workers who made up most of their workforce. Working class jobs offer status, reasonable wages and a sense of pride and community. Hundreds of workers fear job losses at the landmark Cadbury factory that was recently taken over by Kraft, an American multinational. Their concern is that if this factory were to close, um, that the community and everything associated with, with, with it would disappear. The problem is, is, is that it's, 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 it's what we've seen here, where we've seen at Cadbury's, where what you've got is you've got export of jobs to, to countries like Poland and places like that, and I think that is a big concern. These communities are in disadvantage, not just the new communities, the ethnic minorities, just the working white, working class. We are now in Chelmsley Wood, a traditionally white working class area in Greater Birmingham. The area has been hit by a rise in unemployment. We set to find out whether this has had an impact on the views of the people regarding immigration. I think we've got enough of uh, immigration, don't you? Really? I think so. I think uh, we've got to give the young people of this country a chance to find work. Uh, most of these immigrants are coming in, taking work which our young people need. The money which is get handed out here in benefits is for the people of, who, who live, live in here. this country, not who live in Poland or some other, other country, and that's got to be stopped. Immigration is a, a problem in this country at the moment. Um, I reckon that a lot of people are coming over and just on climate benefits, etc., and that's got to stop. Towns in Birmingham that are run by, you know, by Asians, etc., and that, I really don't like it. That's, it feels like someone's just coming just, just, just come to our country and like you just invited it in a way. Students at the Islamic Society here at University College London have been put under constant surveillance. This was done after attempts by a former member to blow up a plane on Christmas Day last year. Does this suggest Britain's growing discomfort with Islam and a certain level of racial stereotyping when it comes to members of the Muslim community? It is ridiculous to racialize investigation of terrorism, investigation of serious and violent crime, because we live in a diverse city and we do not, we do, we do not in any other circumstance, racialize. I was born here, I was born and bred in uh, Birmingham. What happened is we came across an opposition on campus, so, you know, questioning why we should be campaigning against the BNP, whether in fact they're actually racist or not. Um, and then very quickly it turned into a kind of anti-me campaign. There was a petition handed in to ask for my removal uh, as president. Um, and essentially it started off on the methodology, uh, but it moved on to like really Islamophobic and racist undertones. Uh, stuff like saying that I was for Islamic supremacy uh, and this country would bo be brought under illegal Sharia law and my presidency was just the beginning. Um, that I only represented ethnics and foreigners. And this kind of really racist undertone that people, uh, a lot of students just didn't pick up on. You know, the Tories are using right-wing language and, you know, the Labour government's not much different and it's easy to scapegoat at the moment. I think Britain right now is a very uncomfortable place to be in, especially if you're Muslim or Pakistani uh, or of Pakistani origin like myself. Um, you see this increase of racism and Islamophobia. You can't just go to a tube station, you can't just go to a train station, you can't just go to an airport without being stopped. The report into the murder of black teenager Stephen Lawrence shed light on the institutional racism in police forces. A climate of fear has been uh, brought down on the population, on the community in terms of uh, what we rightly have to do to address security issues. All the public services need to engender trust and confidence in the communities. So where is Britain heading on this divisive issue of immigration? I think it's a sad state of affairs. I think that we're heading uh, towards even more isolation of the Muslim community. The government will need to continue to <clears throat> be in control of immigration and that's perfectly legitimate. Um, but I hope that that can be consistent with continued immigration flows because they're good for our economy and they're good for our society ultimately. You're planting the seeds for a society in which no one trusts no one um, and that's definitely not the kind of society that you want. Mm -hmm.